I'm Kent Ulberg, and uh, I'm originally from Sweden, but uh, I'm an American citizen and lived in America for many years. Uh, I'm the sculptor of this piece here, and that's a sculpture of whooping cranes, which is a very interesting bird. It is one of the most endangered birds in the world, and we br brought it back by conservation methods. And this so happens, I live on the Texas coast, right near where they had the wintering grounds. So I spent many hours studying them from my boat on the coast, together with Roger Torrey Peterson, for example, my hero from childhood. He wrote a bird book about European birds when I was a kid. And this sculpture was commissioned by John Forrester to honor his wife, Alice Woodson Forrester. And what a great honor to get to do this sculpture for this wonderful museum who has artists from all over the world in our subject matter, birds. And I just want to say something about, you know, this museum, a renowned, beautiful museum that specializes in our genre of nature and wildlife is really remarkable. When you first started 40 years ago, there was no museums that would do that. And when I was in art school in Sweden, there was nobody who would even do a representation, let alone nature. And so I cherish this museum for that. And to have the opportunity of doing a sculpture like this, a monumental sculpture at this museum is a great honor. To make a sculpture like this, a monumental sculpture, the bronze itself is about 12 foot high. Uh, it's quite a complex, it's quite a labor intensive process. And of course I came from a working class from a fishing village. So Honest people work with their hands and they're laboring. And so first I start with a maquette, with a model, where I work out all the details and especially the design. Because all my work, even though they're representational, have an abstract content, abstract design, which I learned in art school in the 60s. And so I would make a maquette first. We call it a maquette, the French word for model. And then I use that to make the big one, and normally with measurements. And it takes thousands of pounds of clay. I work over a steel armature to support all the clay. And then we make a mold of that. And then we go to take that to the foundry and they make a wax and they cut it up in pieces in the lost wax process. And they cannot do any bigger than about two by two foot. So this was made out of at least 60 to 70 pieces that are then welded together. And then you have to take away all the welds and recreate my texture. And I do a lot of that myself. I used to do all that is called chasing. And in the old foundries, in the old days, in France, for example, they were called ciseleurs, the people that did the chasing. And you had to be an artist to recreate texture. That's why I like to do a lot myself, in the old days especially. So you can imagine welding together about 70 pieces to create this and to have it the way I intended it in the first place. But like I said, it's a great honor to have a monumental sculpture here of an iconic, the largest flying bird in America. Thank you.